Hey, what's going on guys? I've got the Canon 75 to 300 millimeter telephoto lens here. This is a common lens you can pick up at your big box stores for about 200 bucks. You can get it online for less than that. This is one of the first lenses that I, uh, well, I borrowed from somebody and forgot to return. Um, it's, it's an okay lens if you're going to be shooting during the daytime and you really need that extra focal length. It's very similar to your kit lens if you got one of the longer lenses with your camera body, like a 55 to 250 millimeter lens. If you've got one of those lenses, I would recommend not purchasing this. The little bit of extra reach this lens gives you is not going to make that big of a difference and you're not going to see any improvement in image quality. But if you for some reason don't have a longer lens and you're on a budget and you're only going to be shooting in the daytime, you might want to consider one of these lenses just because of the price. Um, it, the image quality that comes out of it isn't horrible. It's not going to be the sharpest lens in the world and you're going to see some chromatic aberration which is the discoloration around some objects uh, in high contrast situations uh, which is a little bit frustrating but if you're going to use it for like shooting soccer or games in the morning and stuff like that it's not a bad lens. Um, but if you're going to use it for any kind of like sports photography that takes place at night or indoors, you're not going to want to buy this lens. And the reason for that is this lens has what's called a variable aperture. It goes from f4 to f5.6, uh, I believe, on this one. Yes, f4 to f5.6. So what that means is as you zoom, you can see it expands and retracts as you zoom it. It's going to make the aperture smaller and when it does that it's letting less light back to your camera sensor so if you're shooting for example indoors in kind of a dark environment as you zoom it you're going to have to slow your shutter speed down to get a proper exposure and when you slow your shutter speed down if you're shooting something like sports that means you're going to get motion blur in your images if you're just shooting static subjects like in an award ceremony yeah you could probably get away with this lens but I would highly recommend going with something uh, faster lens like a 70 to 200 f 2.8. The other issue with a lens like this is they are very slow to focus. Um, I tried shooting some hummingbirds with this lens the other day just out messing around because I wanted that little bit of extra reach that this lens offers and it focuses so slow I couldn't get a good shot of the hummingbird because they were in and out of the frame before this thing could achieve focus. So it was a little bit frustrating. I really haven't used this since I first started uh, photography, but I got it out the other day because I really wanted to get some good shots and it just really didn't work. The other problem with this lens is because it does have the variable aperture, you can't get a very shallow depth of field with this lens unless you're right up on top of your subject. So it's really hard to separate your subject from the background. So. Having said all that, there are a lot of cons to this lens, but if you're on a real tight budget and you simply can't afford to get a better lens like a 70 to 200 millimeter lens and you really need the extra focal length, it's, it doesn't cost a lot, so it's definitely an option worth considering. So hopefully that helps you out, and thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share, and have a great day.